Hey everybody, it's your boy Noah, man, coming at y'all, peeps, uh, no, I wasn't gonna do a Detroit Lions video, uh, this week, with the exception of the review of the game, but, uh, uh cause the Pistons win the other day, you know, um, I, I seem to have a little energy to it, <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and get into it, man, it's no, I, I may do more Lions previews, I may, I may not, if I see it necessary, or if I just feel like talking, what they need to improve, I, I may, I may not, I mean, I'm jumping off the band, with bandwagon, it's just that, you know, the season is practically over, I don't see them making the playoffs, especially with Jim Bob Cooter here, and the way his plays is, I just don't see any faith in the season, I don't know why anybody was trying to do it, this is definitely a season to us to learn, and only learn, that way we can start prepping for next year and build the talent to it as they're learning everything, and hopefully, they get rid of the coordinator before the year is over with. Start hurry up prepping with the new offense, man. Uh, please, I hope that happens. But, um, um, I mean, we know it's going to be a fight with the Panthers, man. That front seven is nasty. They got some of the best linebackers on that damn uh, defense. They got um, uh, Kiwan Short, man, one of the most dangerous defensive tackles in the game. Uh, one of the most underrated ones in the game as well. Uh, you know, then you got Cam Newton and uh, McCaffrey, man. You got McCaffrey, that little duo there. Uh, you know, a lot of play. They do a lot of trick plays over there, man. With Cam Newton, because his mobility, we pretty much know what they coming with. I mean, you really might as well say you pretty much. That's the one thing I will say. You know what they go come at us with, man. Um, and Cam Newton go try to get some runs going. He go do some trick plays, design draws. He go out there and run out the pocket. Make plays with his legs. He go trick you with his legs. But maybe passes out the pocket. Maybe passes from the pocket. Trick plays with McCaffrey. They use him like so many different ways. They involve him in the offense, man. Uh, we seen a little bit of it ourselves last year when we faced him. Uh, Jim Bob Cooter kind of cost us that game too. Uh, defense actually kept leaving Ed Disson open. Why open too many times as well? That wasn't helping. Um, and of course, Stafford tried to come back late in the fourth quarter uh, and bring us back. Darius Slay had messed up uh, one little miscue with uh, that receiver. What's his name? He got traded to the Bills. I forgot his name though. Uh, uh, damn, what was it? damn, what was his name? I can't remember. Y'all remember the big guy? Uh, he got traded to the Bills, I think. But. <laughs> Speaking of Darius Slay, let me tell y'all something, man. We've seen the summertime where the reporters made up a story claiming that Matt Patricia coaching staff was cheap because of uh, the fact that he was making players run if they messed up or made mistakes. And they came out and said that, like, well, players probably not going to like it. They, I remember they talked to Carry On Johnson. Oddly, you would go to a rookie. And try to talk to him about it, get his, pick his brain, expect him to be stupid enough not to get where y'all coming from. And Carry On actually was smart about it. He said, like, you know, it's players that on this team that be like 25 years old to 30 or older, you know. So that's if they were complaining, that's probably why they may feel like they, they're too old and experienced enough to have to go through something like that. I guess that's what you could say, but he was. But it, it was the reporters that made that up. The, I didn't remember hearing no players coming out saying they had an issue with running. You know, um, that was something the reporters did that uh, made taste strikes at Matt Patricia. And now we got Darius Slay today saying he wasn't to me complaining for what I read. He was just making a statement. He didn't really quite understand why they had to go out in the snow and the cold today, and why they've been practicing in the snow cold this week. Uh, when they got number indoor games for the next three or four games, um, I th it wasn't complaining to me. I don't think he was whining and fussing. That's not usually the vibe I get from Darius Slay. Uh, this is a guy who's played through injuries time and time again and has not complained about it. I, I don't think it's that. I just think it was just a wrong question at the wrong time, man. That's all it was because you kind of understand why you do it. You know, it's kind of more of a mental toughness thing. Like, anyway, the Lions, I said for years, man, the thing about them, even in indoor games, man, I felt they always needed they always needed more of an outdoor mentality just because they were an indoor team. So I, 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 for one, as a football player, may not personally want to do it, but I had to understand it. And I think that's where he was coming from. He didn't personally like it, but, you know, he kind of understands in his own way, but he just wouldn't have 
probably wanted to do it his route if he was head coach, which he said, you know, and you know, and at the end of the day, he also said though he's not the head coach, so he get it. But it's, I just think it was one of those statements that was that's at the wrong time. I don't think it's something that you had to call for his job out for. You had to call slander him now all of a sudden, to call him weak. Uh, this guy worked real hard for years to try to play at the level he played at last year and so on this year as well. He's uh, he's made plenty of mistakes this year. He's allowed a lot to happen. But I'm not about to label him garbage for it. I'm not about to be negative and call for jobs just because he didn't quite understand it. It's, it's one of those things, man. Uh, you know, when, especially when you was under Jim Caldwell for like four or five years, you got to remember, too, he was doing things a certain way. What they did today and this probably this week, they went to, and when they have more out indoor games coming in the next couple of weeks, Jim Caldwell would not have done that. You know, that's that's just is what it is. They was used to this type of thing. They, they, he was expecting Matt Patricia to have everybody outside. I mean, that's all it is, man. Uh, I don't think it's. Uh, I don't think he's soft, or I ain't about to call him garbage, man. I ain't writing Darius Slay off for it. I mean, it's just a question to me that he should someone knew the answer for. Just came out the wrong place at the wrong time, man. Yeah, she just kind of kept that to herself. You know, especially after all those things, y'all been losing games, media just been bashing y'all, y'all. You just add more fuel to the fire. You, and that's not what you want when you're a player in his position, too, as one of the leaders of the defense, you can say. Uh, so, and my thing is, too, man, uh, you know, uh, as far as the Lions go, man, I, they could use a little mental toughness, though. One thing I will say that uh, they need some challenges. Now, doesn't necessarily mean that this is going to make them play better as a whole team just because they practice outside and they're getting their body as yeah, good to get their bodies uh, prep more ahead of time when you know you're going to cold as Wisconsin at the end of the season, especially them uh, and Buffalo. But at the end of the day, um, that play that, that playbook is not going to change especially for the offense. That playbook is not changing. So, yeah, you may be a little bit mentally ready, I guess you could say, for Carolina, but doesn't mean y'all still going to be able to execute properly. I mean, that playbook is horrible. They going to be expecting y'all to play garbage. Y'all ain't got none, no nutrition stuff, obviously. I mean, all that, like I said, is just for the game in the future. At the end of the day, ain't nothing I'm making serious for it. Like, oh, they trying to make themselves stronger to be able to win games. It's... it's like I said, season's over with. Uh, I'll leave in the comment section how y'all feel, man. Um, only smart comments. I don't need no, he's soft, he's weak, he's a bitch. I don't need all that stuff in my comment session about that, man. Uh, it's not even necessary, to be honest with you. So, just smart comments only. Uh, leave it to at that, man. Maybe the Lions will pull out something. Who knows? Season's over with. But, um... Uh, Y'all leave it in there, man. Shout out to everybody in DV. Uh, it's your boy, Noah, man. Signing out.